Oh, freaking hell, man. What a dramatic game. <sighs> what was that ending all about? My life. It's the hope that kills you. Uh, it's the hope that kills you. <sighs> anyway, let's try and get our head together for that. I can't believe that's just happened. So Man United 4, Wolves 3, somehow. And I'm in disbelief. I've got to be honest, I'm in absolute disbelief. First half, same team by the way, as you all know. Same team, Wolves play the same team against Albion. And against Albion, against West Brom. First 30 minutes, we really struggled to get going. And today, Man United looked really sharp. And uh, they battered us first half, Man United, let's be honest. They went 2-0 up with ease. Rashford with a good goal. Rashford was always going to score with the troubles he's had. And, uh, yeah. And then the second goal, I, don't, I thought it was an own goal, but I don't think it was. Hoyland scored for them. And it could have been 4-0 at half time. They had two offside goals at the end. We offered hardly anything. We were very flat, I must admit. And, uh, yeah, I'll be honest, at half time, people were talking about going home, so... The fact that the second half happened was absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still in disbelief that that's just happened, by the way. Uh, yeah, so we get a goal back. Uh, penalty. I thought it, I didn't know if it was a dive. VAR checked it, but they give it. Neto went down, and Sarabia, of all people, took the penalty and scored. But then straight away, McTominay comes on a sub, scores off a corner, and uh, I thought that's it. That's definitely it now. But then Kilman gets a goal back and you can tell the Man United fans got really nervous once Kilman put that in and we were huffing and puffing Man United obviously were attacking too there was nine minutes added on we made some subs went 4-4-2 or whatever the formation was Fraser come on eight Nori obviously come on a bit early on and then Neto right at the end in added time puts it in and that's you think that's the dramatic ending Wolves another late come back 3-3 free, free. <sighs> but uh, I'll tell you you know what I'm sorry if you're watching this I don't even know who got the Man United winner I know it's some young lad that come on the substitute um, sorry I don't know his name but he come on great finish from him but honestly I just, I just thought that was it I thought we'd see it out but <clears throat> the atmosphere is like as you can imagine everyone's with the gutted but for the neutrals what a game but what I will say is obviously Man United started off really well but I think it shows how how vulnerable Man United are as a team to let us come back like that and we were off it today we were poor and for, for Man United to let us us back in that's worrying for them it's got to be said um, but crazy game it'd be nice to come away with a point but wow um, yeah I don't know what to say I'm speechless comment down below your thoughts on that um in terms of our performances, I thought Doyle had a good game again. Um, he was vital for the counter-attack for one of the goals. Fraser, come on, that was good to see. Um, Toti Gomez struggled a bit tonight. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. As I say, first half, nobody was good for us. They could have been 4-0 up, but that's the Premier League for you. Please like and subscribe if you are new. Who would be a bloody Wolves fan? Absolute drama. And yeah... There we go. <laughs> what the hell just happened?